Okay, dear students, so this is, uh, let us see how to do this question. X and Y are two plane coils parallel to each other that have a common axis. There is a constant direct current in Y. So in Y, there is a direct current going on and the direction is also shown there. X is first moved towards Y. Later, it is moved away from Y. What, as X moves, is the direction of the current in X relative to that in Y? Okay, so the options are given like same direction as in Y, opposite direction as in Y. Okay, so my dear students, first of all, in these kind of questions, um, the first thing that you must understand, the first thing that you must look forward to is this line, the central line that is drawn here. Many a times I have seen and you might have also seen the rings are drawn like this and there is no line there. This becomes really very difficult. Line has to be drawn. So if there is no line, you are supposed to draw the line by yourself. But in my point of view, until the line is there, there is no guarantee that you would be able to answer it properly. So there has to be this line. You have to draw this. Like we have drawn this line now. Clearly, this end of the ring is behind the screen. And this end of the ring is actually in front of the, sc of the screen. Because this is a 3D diagram that we have to draw on a 2D plane. That is why these kind of problems are faced. But it is very important for us to understand what is, how is the ring actually placed. So this is how it is placed now, clear. So the current is shown here. It means that from this point of view, like let us say there is, this is an I, Forbid my, like, forgive my drawings that I'm drawing there. So let us say you are watching from that side. So if you're watching from that side, the current is clockwise. So current is clockwise from this side. It is anti-clockwise from this side. From this side, it is anti-clockwise. But from this I point of view, it is clockwise. So whenever we say clockwise and anti-clockwise, we have to say, what is your reference point? But anyways, we, we have just seen that, okay, fine, the current is going like this. Now the current is going like this. So how is the magnetic field? Uh, there and we have to draw that. So I am applying my uh, right hand curl rule. So the current is going into the screen like this, like this. And so the magnetic field will be towards left. So this is the actual direction of the magnetic field. Like this. So the magnetic field is drawn like this. And it is drawn into the wire. And it is going like this. So it means as per X is concerned, this is the direction of the magnetic field. We are going to study this question from the point of view of X, isn't it? Now, X is now moving towards Y. <clears throat> so now X is moving towards Y. So if it moves towards Y, the distance is, it is coming near. It means that flux is going to increase because now the distance will be lesser. Now the flux is increasing. So X will say that I do not want it to be increased. So point number one, it will apply a force which is repulsive. A repulsive force will come into play and X will start repelling Y because it actually does not want to go near to Y, but it has to. So we are moving it near to Y, but there is a repulsive force. But the question is about the induced current. So now concentrate here. So to find the direction of the induced current, we will see that, okay, fine, the magnetic field is towards left and it is increasing and it is increasing. So the ring X will say, do something to reduce it. So what will happen? Obviously there is a repulsive force, but there will be a second thing also. It will try to create an induction current, which will create a magnetic field in the opposite direction. So it means that I am going to use my hand like this. Now, you see the magnetic field has to be towards right hand side. So I'm curling my hands like this. It means that current should come out of the screen from the top end. It means that clearly the current is now moving in the opposite direction with respect to the current in the Y. So this will happen and a magnetic field will be created in the opposite direction so that this magnetic field can fight the corresponding increase in the magnetic field in the left hand side. So that is why we have to counter that. That is why I can say that yes, in the case number one, the current will be in the opposite direction. Now let us go for this one. Now, so 
in the second case x is moving away from y now it is moving away from y obviously it will the whole process will be repeated and you can clearly see that current will be in the same direction so now the current will be in the same direction and so the answer for this question is definitely going to be c so for the second part you have to do it by yourself and try to verify if you are also getting the same answer so my dear student this is how we do this question these kind of questions are really very important either they ask you questions on the forces between these two so in this case when uh, x is moving towards there is a repulsive force here i'm just writing and here they will start attracting because now they are going farther away so x will say no 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 i don't want to go farther away i want to maintain my position so now there will be an attractive force between the two rings so my dear students either they would be asking you question based on forces or they will ask you question based on the direction of the induced current but this is how we are going to do it my dear student, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, please join this, this YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.